So what are some of those democratic values that Phil and I care about and stand for? We believe in equal opportunity for all and privileges for none. Government of, for, and by the people, not the special interest. A working, that working families should have a right to a living, self-sufficient wage. And Phil stands with 2.4 million South Carolina women like me who will not stand silent and as we demand equal pay for equal work. Phil knows that our state is in desperate need of economic development, particularly in our rural areas where our schools, our infrastructure, health care, broadband, transportation, and access to basic necessity, necessities are woefully inadequate. Phil has a vision for a new South Carolina where state government is reformed from the top to the bottom. Unfortunately, our current legislature has not been committed to that kind of change. We've just finished a session and the issues that are important to the state have yet to be addressed. So the question for us in this election cycle is similar to the one that was raised by my Shiro, the late Honorable Congresswoman Barbara Jordan in 1976 at the Democratic National Convention when she said, are we to be one people bound together by a common spirit, sharing a common endeavor, or will we become a divided nation? Given what is going on in our national scene, I think her words were prophetic. In closing, I'd like to paraphrase her comments by saying this to, to South Carolinians. Are we to be one people bound together by a common spirit as reflected in our state model that says, while I breathe, I hope, sharing a common endeavor, endeavor according to our American ideals of liberty and justice for all, or will we become a divided state again? I believe Phil Noble, as governor of South Carolina, can lead this nation in forming a more perfect union. We will set an example. He will set an example. And as for me and my community, we stand with Phil for a big change, for real reform right now. Thank you.